Hello and welcome to the video for what is flow control, the flip flop node. I've created two quick examples here using the flip flop node. The first one when I click it will turn the heart on or turn the heart off. The second one when I click it will do a loading throbber and then shut it off. So let's go ahead and go through these examples. For the first one here, Basically, whenever we click the button itself, it fires the flip-flop node. The flip-flop node is pretty simple. It has an execute wire in, two execute wires out, and then a is a bool variable. Basically, the first time it fires through, it will fire off the A execute wire. The next time you run it, it will fire the B execute wire. And then it will repeat over and over, flipping and flopping back and forth between A and B. It's a great way to toggle something without having to use a bool variable, for example, to verify the state. So for our example here, basically the heart starts off being disabled. So the first time I run it through it, I enable the heart. And the second time I run through it, I enable the heart again, but I'm using the variable here is A to actually determine if it's enabled or not. So what you're doing is when the A wire, A wire executes, it sets is enabled to true because is A is the wire we're running on. The next time it goes through, B wire executes. It is not the A wire, so B will be false. And now my visibility is set back to hidden. So when we run that again, you'll see it flopping back and forth. And all I'm using is one simple flip-flop node to determine if it should be on or off. For our second example, we are basically playing a loading animation when I click the button and it plays for two seconds. In order to do that, I'm using a flip flop node and I am using a few events to fire it. So what I do when I click the load button is I toggle my loading throbber, delay for two seconds, and then toggle it again. If you notice, I'm not telling it to toggle on or off, I'm simply telling it to toggle. So for toggling, all we're doing is using the simple flip-flop to turn it visible or hidden. That's it. The first time I tell it to toggle, it runs through and it toggles it visible. I wait two seconds. Maybe you have some maps loading or some hint text or something here, whatever you want. Once it's done, I tell it to toggle it again. It comes back through. We've already ran the A execute wire. Now we run the B and it toggles it back to hidden. That's it. Flip-flop is really easy if you just simply want to use a toggled state for something and you don't want to use a bool to track it. Maybe you could use it for displaying an in-game menu or a loading screen or something very simple.